Taurus. Welcome, guys. I love it when you all tune in. Let's see what we got today. So I felt compelled to use these messages from Heaven card today. I just, I felt like Spirit had something important to say to us today. And I felt like these cards were the best way to be able to connect and find out what it was. So let's see what they got for you. And this might be a message uh, for you. It might be for someone around you too. So I feel like there's just something really important and they're starting to jump out of my hands now too. So I feel like we're getting close uh, to what spirit wants to say. And this card did not want to go back in. So we have be creative, look for ways to build, grow, and manifest. So we might be needing uh, an outlet or someone you know might be needing sort of an outlet for their emotions, for things that they're going through, uh, sort of to focus their energy away from negativity and just sort of relax and focus on positive things in their life. It might even be a good way to connect with people around them as well. I have no place like home. This might be, you know what, I almost wonder if we're talking about learning something from someone we know as well. Like, you know how your grandma will teach you how to knit or something like that. And it might give you a nice outlet and a way to sort of bullshit with somebody to invent about what's going on. I have serendipity. Serendipity speaks to everything happening happening for a reason everything happening in its own time as well and new life so I wonder if we're looking to build a new life we're looking for a new start or maybe starting a new chapter of our life and it's a little bit stressful and this this creative outlet is going to help us to sort of deal with the stress or find this new direction in our life as well I do have building blocks which also speaks to building building for the future so this being creative side, this might help you to figure out an idea for building for the future. I have clean it up as well. This clean it up card, it can speak to sort of decluttering uh, your house, your mind and your soul and your heart as well. Being able to be creative helps you to do that. It helps you to sort of express how you're feeling, focus on positive things and sometimes to be able to vent all the negative stuff too. I have by the book. By the book can speak to a need to conform. You know what? I feel like it's speaking that you feel the need to conform. And I feel like you need to get over that. I feel like it's speaking to the need to, to develop a new life, a new way of being, being creative, letting that side of you out and not sort of reining it in so that you're kind of like everybody else. This is speaking to finding your own individuality here. I have to be fair as well. And to be fair talks about balance. And I feel like this is going to help you to find a balance in your life and it's going to help you to sort of dig deep and find out more about who you are as a person as well. I have unfinished symphony. And I feel like this is also speaking to this creative side as well and finding out uh, maybe even something you didn't even know you were good at before and something that you absolutely enjoy, something new and something wonderful in your life as well. I do have the Six of Cups here. So the Six of Cups is called the Blast from the Past card. It can represent someone or something from your past coming back into your life. It can also speak to lessons from the past, sometimes letting the past go. Oh, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups represents an emotional victory. I feel like it's speaking to an emotional outlet uh, and being able to find balance to that side of your life because I feel like there's a lot of pressure with this by the book to do everything just so in your life there's a lot expected of you. The Knight of Pentacles represents something you've been working towards for a long time finally coming to fruition. I feel like it's speaking to an opportunity for a new future. I feel like it's tying into the serendipity that there's something coming here. There's something along the way. The Ace of Pentacles also represents new beginnings. So I feel like it's tying into this new life and it's time for, it's time for a new beginning. I have the Temperance card. This Temperance card represents a balance between emotion and logic. And I feel like it's tying into that by the book. It's tying into that pressure to conform and, and being able to see that Maybe that little cookie cutter idea of life is not who you are and it doesn't suit you. And being able to see that it's okay to step outside of that and build a life that more reflects you and who you are as a person and what you value. The strength card to me is all about empowerment. I feel like being able to do this is going to be an empowering journey for you. I feel like it's going to help you to find out more about who you are as a person. The three of wands represents positive forward movement while overcoming obstacles. And I feel like these obstacles are tied into this clean it up, this sort of letting go of this baggage, letting go of these, these pressures and the, these ideas to be able to build a life, like I said, that's more suited to who you are. 
the Queen of Wands. She represents passion, ambition, and drive. I feel like whatever this thing is, this creative outlook, I feel like it's going to be a new passion for you. And it's going to help to define you in a new way. The Hermit card represents introspection. I feel like it's tied into the buy the book. It's tied into clean it up. It's tied into being able to step back and take a look um, at the way that you're feeling, looking at your emotions and your thoughts from a new perspective and being able to find a clarity and moving forward. Because I feel like this Six of Cups, this is your past. You need to move on from your past. It's time to build a new future. And like I said, one that suits you more, one that reflects who you are as a person and not feel guilty about doing that like you are letting somebody down because it's your life and you're the one who has to live it. Alrighty guys, that is what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I do love hearing from you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. Take care.